Okay, so before we go any further with the results, let's take a look at the actual complete script used to generate those results. Here I'm in the results directory right now. I'm going to go up one directory and actually look at this proc.ft script, which was generated after we ran this so1.ap.simple. Actually, first thing I'll do is I'll open it up using this less command. You can open this program up in a simple text editor, like text edit, notepad, anything you want. This is Unix's way to view files. It's called less, so just less in the name of the file. And to navigate through this, you can press down and up with the arrow keys. You can press spacebar to go uh, down one page. You can press U to go up one page. It's pretty straightforward. Also, if you press the backslash key and I type in a string to search for, it will look for anything starting with that string. And you can press the N key to go through each occurrence. And Shift N will go back one occurrence. If you want to exit, just press Q. All right. So let's look at this a little bit. First thing you'll see is there's a lot of text in this file. <coughs> and anything beginning with a hashtag means it's a comment. So this stuff isn't actually run, well, except for this first line here. Anything with a hashtag in front of it is not run. This is just commentary to help you read the script. And there are commands like echo, which just print things to the uh, standard output in your terminal. There's a command like afni-var, which tells you what the status is, what version the afni is and a few other things. So you'll also see things like if then statements, which simply are conditionals. So if you don't get any other arguments besides just running the script, set the subject to be a variable ft. Right? And then in Unix, anything with a dollar sign in front of it is a variable. So for example, when we say set output dar equals subj dot results, then, when we call upon uh, dollar sign output dir, that is whatever we assigned it up here. Another thing you might be interested in looking at is when we set runs, this is a command which will create an array of runs. And it's going to be 1, 2, and 3. It's going to have two digits, two placeholders. So it's going to be 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. You can just copy this line of code and put it in your terminal just to check to make sure that it actually works. Lastly, we recreate this output dir. Again, it's a variable. We also create a stimuli subdirectory within that directory. And then we copy a bunch of files into that directory. Okay, so for example, we copy all of our timing files into this stimuli subdirectory within the output directory. Lastly, we do this command, an actual AFNI command called 3D copy which was part of that copy and at part of the script. This will copy this anatomical data set into a directory called ftnat within our output directory. The next couple of videos will start covering the actual meaty chunks of the code down here.